of my neat styles i'm looking forward to this one big shout out to all those locking in tuning in to the big bad station arawakradio.com and of course we're now taking you to all the way to zambia okay pure vibes pure energy each and every time so monique styles are you there yes i'm here greetings greetings so you're live and direct right now for the people out there let the listeners know who is monique styles aka dance or cream tell us who you are sis Okay, thanks for the opportunity and the time, and thanks to everybody who has tuned in. Um, Monique, Monique with dance or cream, does both. Yeah, and uh, she grew up from Zambia, uh, in a city called Livingston. Okay. Yeah, and um, yeah, she. Uh, I started my music when uh, I was uh, sixteen. Yeah. That's wow. when I started recording in a studio. Okay. But I discovered my talent when I was five. Wow. So I started record. Yeah, I started recording when I was recognized by a record label called Now Respect Twenty Eight Point One. So I did my first single, Twenty Sixteen. We waited. Yeah. Then uh, I had to redo uh, the same song again. That was in Twenty Seventeen. That's when I became perfect because I was. Uh, I was being taught how to to sing in uh, in, in part two. Wow. Okay. I like so that. It was a little bit. <laughs> it was a little bit rough, but actually, I did, and now I've grown so confident in it, and I love it so much. Wow. Okay. So, how do you describe your style? Because you go into so many different styles. We just heard like a reggae flavor. I've heard you do like a dancehall flavor, a little bit of R and B flavors. So, tell us your kind of style in your own words. Um, my kind of style, I call it unique for myself because I feel like I have been blessed so much by God Himself. Because I'm able to sing r and B, I'm able to sing, you know, a little bit of hip-hop. Yeah. I can do a little bit of jazz. So I play around with my vocals because I try to combine all of them at once. Okay. And suck it in into reggae and dancehall. So I, sh- I don't even know <laughs> the description <laughs> I can give, but it's a unique talent that God gave me. <laughs> for real, for real. And I know that you worked with Denroy Morgan, okay? That's a big artist um, out there in Jamaica, okay? The the dad of Morgan Heritage, He did a ch- you did a tune called Wildflower. How did that come about? Okay, it all started with, uh, there's a guy uh, called Marvin. He's okay. uh, based in Uganda. So he's he's been on our tail for a very long time. So one time he just came up and said, I want to link you up with one of the biggest legends. I was like, okay. So he didn't tell me the name at first. Okay. So we're all left wondering what. And uh, we received a call that was uh, in 2019. We received a call to say, oh, okay, he has agreed. He says he will talk. I was like, okay, who is he? I was like, no, that's Dinra Morgan. My heart skipped because I was like, that's from the Morgan Heritage family. I was like, yeah, the father. So we got a chance to talk to him. Actually, the first song we did was uh, Zambezi River. Yeah. That's the first track we did. Yeah. So after Zambezi River, that's when we decided to work on my reggae EP. Okay. Because like, it was going to help on that one. So he came up with a surprise. And gave me the song for Wildflower, which was done, originally done by Dolly Parton herself. Yeah, wow, for real. And we'll play that yeah. one later as well. And I know you did lots of work as well with Culture Heights. That's how I come across you um, originally. So how did that connection happen as well with Culture Heights? 
It also came from the same guy, Marvin. We need to meet Marvin. In the big connect. <laughs> <laughs> we need to meet him. <laughs> he keeps on popping up. He's so tell us. Best connect. Yes. Um. So Marvin called me. Says there's a guy. There's a guy called Culture Heights. So I checked him out on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Yeah. I kind of said okay. I think uh, link us up on WhatsApp so that I can get to hear some of his stuff and talk to him. So after I talked to Culture Heights, it's I think we really clicked because he really liked what I did. So we came up. No, actually he came up with a song. Uh. A happy soul. Mm. So he had sent his vocals, and then I I did mine here. So after the track was done, I was really shocked. Like I I didn't expect the song to come out like that. Like it's really a great song. So we are actually planning on working on uh, another track again. Okay, I like the sound of that definitely. And what is the music like in Zambia? Lots of people are asking me what is it like out there. Is there lots of help for music? Tell us a little something about the industry. Okay, the industry here is uh, kind of a bit different because uh, most of the uh, the big guys here they sing in uh, our own local language. Okay. So fused in with a little bit of English, but I I I love the the Zambian people because they're able to listen to anything. Mm. Bring a French song, bring dance, or bring reggae. They just they're able to comply and. It's it's really great. It's it's massive, and we listen to most of, um, you know, the, the the Spanish guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And so, for yourself now, being a female artist, have you faced any challenges, and how have you overcome them? Yeah, being female, it's it's very difficult. I've faced a lot of challenges, and uh, that was a big you sign. Know, being <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big sign. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's really been rough to get there and um, penetrating the the music industry here. Yeah, it's it's kind of tough because you really have to convince the people mm. to really listen to your music and and love the style. Because I would say they they groups, so there are people who particularly love the certain type of music. So now grabbing the attention of the already lovers of dance and reggae and combining it with the lovers of hip hop and R and B, it's it's really quite challenging and I found it very difficult but the overcome has been great. Yeah. Because uh I, I did some tracks and then I had to post some uh lyric videos. Okay. At least people are able to comply and thanks to the people that they're also sharing my music. Mm. It's it's really helping for me. It's making things easier for me. Definitely. And who are some of your influences yeah. and your inspirations? Who do you look up to? Mm, I would say I look up to Shansia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I I, I love Shansia. Those are uh, the likes of Spice. Uh, the, the '90s lady so Okay. Yeah, I think particularly I just listened to those. Yeah. So you're and, a definite uh, dance hall queen. Oh my god, the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Patra herself. Okay. Yeah, I like Patra. I like Patra still. So, with that being said, now because yeah. the music that you're recently bringing out, it seems to be more of a chilled vibe, more or like I said, a reggae vibe. Are you doing that? for the time being or are you gonna flip it and switch it up again with dance or with hip hop? Um for now I'm flowing with this because uh, I'm trying to you know make people get used to the the way I flow with my music because uh you know criticism always comes forth because uh, everybody would say no that's not your mother tongue language and what's or not. So I'm really trying to be on the chilled sport right now, just to, to 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 do with us to go ahead with this vibe. But I feel in future I'm I'm really gonna flip, yeah. Okay, okay. And so yeah, for the young people out there who are locked in and want to get into music or they want to get into the business of music, what would you say to them for some advice? 
The only thing I can tell them is that have the right people around you. Okay. People are going to give you the positive energy. People are going to push you to an extent where you feel yourself like you can't reach. Because when you start music, there's a certain way that people get to look at people. Mm. It also depends from which country you're coming from. Because uh, they criticize a lot. People, Some people will say, okay, they love music, but they wouldn't love to see one of their own people, you know, progressing to that level. And mm-hmm. they'll also try by all means to talk ill about what you are doing. And so the only advice I can give them is that always focus on what you want. Because one thing for sure is that nobody is ever going to come and fulfill your dream for you. It's you alone. Definitely. Definitely agree with that. 100%. Yeah, so... It, they they need to have the confidence to face each and every trial that comes in their way. Hmm, for real. And so, what's next for you, Monique Styles? What can we look forward to to hear from you next? Um, I'm really still waiting on. <laughs> I, I'm I'm trying to work on something. So I really wanted to push on uh, the, the 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 video for uh, Happy Soul, the one we did with Culture Heights. Okay. So we're trying to crack our heads on how we are going to do it because of uh, the distance that we have. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big distance. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and of course, how can people, you know, connect with yourself on socials? How can they do that? You can check me on uh, Facebook. That's uh, Monique Styles. So the way I talk it, people get confused with the way I spell my name. It's M O N I Q. Then the styles is S T Y L E and the Z at the end. Okay, okay. And you know, I can't have you on here and not ask you to sing a little something. Would you be up for that? Sing the same song. Okay. For the one I did with uh, Culture High. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do just the chorus. All right, then no worries. I bully you, make me up a soul. Will you, you make me up a soul? Thinking about you every time. You go make me go when I bless a no. Boy, you me next father. You me lifetime lover. The way you and I blend together. African Caribbean, a combination. Far white, I love them, can't see. Is our love like Bonnie and Clyde with my history together? I think that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 every time. <laughs> okay, okay, nice vibes. People are loving that. They're sending me lots of love hearts, lots of fire messages. And of course, before we say goodbye for now, because I'm sure we're going to keep on talking to you, linking up with you, what would you like to say to your listeners, your fans and your supporters? What would you like to say to them out there? I would, I would say I love them all and thanks to them for all this they've given so that they don't keep the spirit going. Yeah. And uh, I love call, I love calling my fans the creamers. Okay. I need to say Monique Styles has just got started. This is just the beginning. They should expect more and more of me. So let them stay glued to my Facebook and my Instagram for all the posts and the latest. Nice, nice, definitely. And once again, Monique, I really appreciate you coming on, joining us. It's been a blessing again. And of course, I hope you have a blessed rest of the day out there in Zambia. Oh, thank you very much, DJ Katz, and for this great opportunity. I really thank you. Anytime, anytime. You're always welcome. We'll speak again soon, yeah? Yes, people, please do go out there, go and support Monique Styles. go and see what she's up to, what she's been doing. Okay, it's always, always a blessing. Right now, we're going to take you to two of her tracks, okay? One with De- Denroy Morgan, okay? And the other one is Happy Soul featuring Culture. So make sure you keep it locked in. This one is Pure Energy. Here we go. Tomorrow, I represent for DJ Cat, Arawak Radio. <laughs> This wild, even wilder than they For at least we could work They just died in the sun And they refused to just wither and play 
Heights alongside Monique Styles. This one is Happy So. My boy, you make me happy so. You, you, you make me happy so. Now, money, not a word. Could have come close to me, happiness. I appreciate you, put me number one. You make me happy so. You, you, you make me happy so. Now, nah, money, not a word. Could have come close to me, openness. I appreciate you, put me number one. Happiness is what you give me day and night. Ah, I'm so happy, it's yes, a joy for when you're there by my side. Ah, Hey boy, I love me sick more than me love it when you hold me tight Bring it harder, never let me go, never let me go If you're not there by my side, make a side My girl, you make me happy so 